Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capellan Jr. Wishing you a very nice day. Now, uh, today, I really I did already two uh, video tutorial, but I still feel energetic. So I will still create one more video tutorial. Now, uh, this time I'm going to show you how are you going to uh, bind your BMS graphics to the physical points and software points for that uh, graphics. Now, as you know, uh, the BMS graphics uh, will be the one to uh, depicts or uh, it will show the actual real-time values or what is happening with the uh, equipment being controlled and monitored in the building management system. So let me go back to my uh, exhaust fan. So this is my project. It's already open Then I already showing you the graphics. Okay. Now, uh, the twin exhaust fan, maybe it is installed on the roof. Okay. Then if you don't have building management system, you need, if you are the maintenance engineer, you need to assign people, uh, a, a maintenance guy that we will check, that will check the status of the exhaust fan on the roof. Okay, so he will go there and check uh, what is happening in my uh, exhaust fan. But if you have building management system, you have a BMS operator, all you need to do is to monitor the equipment uh, remotely. Okay, so he will real, uh, he will get or your BMS uh, graphics will display all the real time values on the equipment being controlled and monitor. Okay, now. Today, I'm going to show you how are you going to bind all these points. So these points, I have here the software points, runtime alarm, run hours, uh, runtime reset, maintenance alarm, airflow alarm, uh, alarm reset, and sequence time, OK? So these are the software points. Then I have the physical points. I already explained to you what are the physical points, OK? So these physical points will monitor the uh, real-time value from your motor control. Let's say if it is in automatic and uh, it is running, is there airflow uh, coming from the air differential pressure switch installed across the fan? Okay, so what I'm going to show you is how are you going to bind it? When I say bind, you have to say this snippet, let's say this snippet where it will fetch the value. Okay, so it will fetch the value from the IO module where we define the point and where we pulled cable from that IO module cable going to the actual selector switch in the motor control. Okay, so when the selector switch is in uh, manual and it, they put it in automatic, then this switch will close contact, then this close contact will give a signal to our IO module that this is already closed, then when we do the engineering, so it will display automatically auto status. Now I have shown you already how we did this in the graphics creation tutorial. Okay, now let me show you how are you going to bind the points. Let me close this one first. Now right click, then edit bindings. Okay, so it will bring you to the binding. Okay, now in advance, I already did some binding, but I will show you again. Let me remove this binding. Okay, let me remove this so that I can show you. Okay. Then let me remove. Okay, let's this one. I will remove this also by deleting it. Okay, now, uh, so we are in the by uh, in the binding uh, window. Okay, now here in this right uh, portion, I have the uh, system uh, preview. Okay, I will go to my uh, IO bus. Okay, so IO bus. So these are the points defined there. Now, how I'm going to bind, like, okay, this one, I remove the point here. So what I will do, I will bind this point. So meaning when you say bind, you will tell the BMS uh, graphics where it will get or fetch the value. Okay, so I will say, okay, this is for EF100 auto status. I will go to my IO module. Then where is my EF100 auto status? So this is the one. So you will select the value. Okay, so by default, you can select this because it will, there will be only one here value. So you can just uh, click and drop it in the respective point. Okay, 
So meaning this EF100 power to status will get the value from my IO module ba IO IO bus UI16 then the point is EF100 power to status then I will get the value. Okay? So that is uh, how you are going to bind the point. So very simple, okay? Now uh, let me okay this one uh, EF1 airplay status. This one is for the animation. So EF1 airplay status. So I will just drop it here. Okay. What else? Okay. Airflow alarm. That is uh, software points. I will click. Uh, I will bind it later. I will show you. Let me just uh, bind all the physical points. Okay. All the physical points. I guess we already it. There are two pages here. Okay. Run hours. Run time reset. As you can see, uh, the remaining points to be binded. The, the graphics uh, remaining points to be binded are software points, okay? Now let me save it. Then I will go now to my software point. Now, air flow alarm, okay? So air flow alarm. So where I'm going to fetch the value, okay? Now, as you know, we already defined or we already created the control logic in functional block and script program. Now, uh, I will use the functional block program because I have one... Uh, complete program here then later on i will show you how i completed that program but, but just to show you how are you going to fetch the value for your bms graphics uh, here what you will do you will go to the okay you will go to your server then automation server double click okay then in my phoenix source fan i have there my program okay so here I will use this one. So I will collapse. So these are the points. So these are the points generated in the uh, program or in the uh, FB functional block programming. Okay. So what is this one? Airflow alarm. Okay. Airflow alarm. EF1 airflow alarm. Do I have EF1 airflow alarm here? Let me check if I have EF1 airflow alarm. Okay, I don't think I, do, I have the EF1 airflow alarm in that program. So I have, to, uh, I have to modify that program to include this point. Okay, now uh, EF1 alarm reset. Do I have EF1 alarm reset there? Okay, so I don't have also that one. So I need to modify the program. So I will just show you the available points. Okay, now I think uh, what are the points here? This one, EF one runtime sequence, okay? So EF1 runtime sequence, okay, EF1 runtime sequence, okay? So I will, I already binded this EF1 runtime sequence, EF1 runtime sequence reset, okay, this one, EF1 runtime reset, okay, okay, what are, uh, the other points, let me look at here. EF1 run hours. So I have here EF1 run hours. EF1 run hours. Okay, so that program, I'm generating there the EF1 run hours. Okay, so what are the airflow alarms? I don't have airflow alarm. What are the other? Okay. EF1 run hour set point. Do I have EF1 run hour set point here? Okay. EF2. Okay, let me go to the next page. So EF2 run hours. So I have here EF2 run hours. EF2 run hours. Okay. What else do I have here? RT sequence. EF2 RT sequence. EF2 RT sequence. EF2 RT sequence, okay. Then what else? Uh, what other points? Okay, let me go back to the first page. That's the airflow alarm. I don't have airflow alarm here. I don't have airflow alarm, okay. So I don't have airflow alarm. Alarm reset, do I have alarm reset? Did I include it in the program? I think not yet, so I will include it later. And maintenance alarm, I don't have maintenance alarm. Okay. Runtime alarm, I think I have runtime alarm. I don't have runtime alarm. Okay, I don't have runtime alarm. What else? 
air flow alarm i don't have air flow alarm ef to rt reset okay i think i have ef to rt reset ef to rt reset i don't have also here okay sequence reset okay for the time being uh, this is how uh, you are going to bind your uh, bms graphics to the points okay so in this graphics i have uh, what you call i have two points physical points the physical points you will bind it to the uh, io module where you are where you pull the cable going to the control panel or the uh, field devices then for the software points as you know as i said the software points are being generated in our uh, programming or control logic programming so you have to bind it to that uh, fb program okay so i have shown you already how are you going to define it or how are you going to bind it okay now as you can see here if you point to that point and the pointer did not change meaning it's not yet bind but this one as you can see it changes to pointing finger meaning it is already binded okay as you can see this is the bind ef100 auto status closed okay now this one okay it is already binded okay so later on i will i will complete the binding let me just uh, edit my control logic program so that we will be able to bind the uh, bms graphics so when you bind the points when i say the points these are the snippet points to the object where it will get the value so physical points it will get the value from the io modules that you use or from the controller that you use then software points it will get the or fetch the value from the software where you generate all these software points okay so i hope i have given you an idea how are you going to work out your bms graphics or how are you going to do the bindings of the points to the physical points or the io modules and the software points to your control logic programming okay so again i hope i have given you the idea and you have learned something in this tutorial and uh, once again if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click also the notification bell so you will be notified if there is new uh, tutorial in my channel and uh, again uh, santos Cabellan jr saying god bless us all and bye for now